Hello, I'm from Strine Environments and I'd like to introduce you to Rick Butt, who's the architect and principal of uh, Strine Environments. And he's been building passive solar sustainable houses in Canberra for about 30 years. Um, but to tell us why they're sustainable and why they're passive solar, let's ask Rick. With appropriate design and construction, we can minimise heating and cooling with passive solar design principles. Sustainability means a lot more um, is considered than just uh, passive solar or low energy. Sustainability includes water, food, transport, materials use, um, a whole lot of things. And in our buildings, sustainability uh, is um, evident with things like rainwater tanks, perhaps compost toilets, um, recycling facilities, um, composting, other elements to try and reduce the impact of a building on the environment and, and, and the lifestyle of people living in that building. So Rick, you said that um, materials, building materials are one of the uh, elements of sustainability, but you build in concrete and I, was, and I always thought concrete is bad for the environment. Why do you use concrete if you're, if you're trying to be sustainable? The fact is that concrete has a very low carbon content compared to um, most other building materials. So it's got the about the equivalent of, of uh, timber, um, far less than things like <clears throat> clay bricks or aluminium or glass, much, much less. But concrete um, is the most common building material in the world, so a small amount of carbon um, by a very large quantity means that it's the one material in the world that has the most carbon contained within that material. But if you can utilise the concrete as thermal mass to help with the heating and cooling of the building, then in fact you end up becoming um, carbon neutral by having no need to heat or cool a building. So the concrete captures the, uh, the heat of the sun, is that what you're saying? It, yeah. Better, the, better than it, other materials? It, it's the best material that we have for thermal mass. It's High density, um, it takes a long time to heat up, it takes a long time to cool down. One of the most important principles is that if you can isolate the concrete inside the house, that's the floor and the walls in particular, from the exterior, and the isolation that we use is insulation, so that that separates the interior from the exterior, then once the interior thermal mass of the concrete stabilises, then we can... Um, utilise that, that comfortable temperature inside, that stable temperature, and that minimises heating and cooling. So lately, Rick has been getting into prefabricated modular housing, and that means that the houses are built not on site, which is becoming expensive, uh, too expensive to build, and, and the future of housing is going to be um, prefabricated housing. But his houses are not only prefabricated, they're modular, which means that, that uh, well... Let's ask Rick what that means. So we've been developing a uh, prefabricated modular system utilising concrete. Um, we're probably, as I understand it, the only people in Australia and one of the few in the world that are doing heavyweight concrete modular buildings that are prefabricated off-site. What, what we're trying to do is to simplify the building process and to reduce the costs of construction and also to get repetition in off-site factory type construction. And so we've come up with two types of modules, a utility module. So the utility modules cover uh, are used for all of the wet areas, kitchens or bathrooms or laundries within a house. And they are created like a shoebox off-site, fully finished and brought to site and installed. And we have um, the alternative other module is the space module and they, they're flat packed and they're used to create bedrooms, living rooms, um, family rooms. So Rick, why, I mean we know you're building concrete and we know that concrete's heavy, but why, what's the advantage of having um, heavyweight prefabricated buildings? You know you say you're probably the only one doing heavyweight buildings in Australia <clears throat> and we've heard of prefabricated lightweight um, kit homes for, for many, many years. But what's the advantage of having a, a heavyweight building? 
The greatest advantage of a heavyweight building is the temperature control that we can achieve inside to, to maximise the thermal comfort of the interior and, and the thermal comfort of the, of the occupants that are living within it. And so the fundamental principles of uh, a passive solar building that we create are that we face north so that uh, we can maximise winter sun coming in and because of the pattern of the sun, the different pattern between summer and winter, by facing north we can also exclude the hot summer sun from coming into the building. So that's one of the first and key critical elements. The second one is to um, have this high thermal mass of concrete and the floors, we try and do the floors um, in a construction manner that is that couples the floor to the earth. So that, that means there's a direct connection between the concrete floor and the earth so that we can utilise the infinite thermal mass of the earth below the building <coughs> to add extra thermal mass because that thermal mass stabilises the temperature inside so that we have almost no um, variation between day and night <coughs> for the interior. So Rick, you talked about um, mod these modules you've developed, but what if I want something a little different? Are you able to accommodate that? You know, I, I might not want these blocks that you're talking about. And, um, and what if I've got a house out in, out in the bush and I want it off the grid? Can you, can you accommodate that? And, and what if I don't actually like the look of uh, that raw concrete? We can put our modules together in an in a infinite arrangement, um, so there's no limitations from that point of view. In terms of construction, though, there is a limitation on the overall size of each module, um, and that's related to truck transportation to get them to site. Oh, many of our houses have been built um, totally off the grid. We've been doing that for decades. And what about if you just don't like grey concrete? Well, our usual modular houses are, in fact, painted. Uh, the Canberra house that we've got on display for Sustainable House Day is unpainted, and that was a customisation requested by the client. So, well, I urge everybody to come and, and see this concrete house. Come and see uh, Rick's Sustainable Passive Solar Modular House at uh, Canberra for Sustainable House Day. Yes, yeah, so it is, it is about the feeling. Come and have a look but come and experience the feel of one of these houses.